There are two principal classes of evidence. On the one hand, there is official material, and on the other, there is private correspondence and memoirs. In terms of official material, one would think that orders are the things that tell us what should happen on a battlefield. In practice, the system that was established for conveying orders in the British Army means that the written record that we have of them normally gives up almost entirely for the period of a battle. There was a very clear system that brought officers to headquarters each morning to receive instructions. After the battle, commanders expected to prepare formal reports. These were the authoritative accounts of the battle, and these became public documents. Battle is a very confused and confusing experience. And Wellington recognised this. He commented to the editor of his dispatches, Colonel Gurwood, that he knew there was glory enough for all on the battlefield, but he couldn't recollect the services of individual regiments. After the battle, Wellington himself had to compose a formal report that went to the Secretary of State, giving an account of his army, the army that was in his charge. It was his duty to avoid speculation, and Wellington knew that he had to have authority for everything that was contained in it. The Secretary of State, on the other hand, needed much more than factual accounts. So there was a parallel system of correspondence, of private letters that commanders sent to the Secretary of State, giving him a much wider perspective of what was going on including speculation, reports that were probably not substantiated. It gave Wellington an opportunity to express a wide range of desires, the difficulties that he'd encountered, things that would not have been acceptable for public consumption and for reports that might be circulated among the Allies. 